Hey, you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes. We're going to have vibrations. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to you, girl. Love and light to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. Take what resonates. Everything may not resonate with you. Use your own discernment, okay? First, I'm going to call on the highest vibe section. I'm going to Michael Cooney as I channel these messages. Nothing but clear and accurate messages for the collective. But TV ain't too loud. My girl is watching TV. Okay. Let's see what messages I have for you all today. I do got a couple of downloads, but I'm going to just go over those downloads as the messages go. Okay? And see where the energy is flowing. And where is the energy at? Okay. What's going on for the overall energy for the collective? What do they need to know? Spare gas and ancestors. Divination. Prophecy, faith, destiny, fortune. Okay. Didn't I just say something about the energy flow? We got flow at the bottom of the day. Find an easier path forward. Okay. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. So some of y'all could be expecting something here. Okay. You're expecting something. I feel like it's because you guys are like, uh, the sky is the limit for you guys right now because something is fated for you. It's your destiny, okay? It's your fortune. It's You are very fortunate, okay? Whoever you are, you are very fortunate. Things are going to start flowing for you, but you just got to let something flow. You got to let something go because you guys can be worried about the outcome, but no. Spirit wants you to be worried about your sanctuary, okay? Like being private. When it comes to your personal sp space, okay, respect boundaries. Somebody has to respect your boundaries right now. And then we have intention. Be clear and decide. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. So some of y'all, it's giving me a download I got with intention. Somebody's intentions is very pure for you. This person has a hustler's mentality. Okay, what I'm picking up on, some of y'all, it's like faded for y'all to be, um, a lot of y'all to be like business owners. I'm here in management, so you guys can be, you know, managing some type of company. It's some type of big corporation, but something is like faded for you here, but you got to quit worrying about it and just let it flow, okay? You could be worried about something, not worried about, you know, what's, what's going to happen. I'm hearing you already doing it. It just might not seem like it is flowing the way it's supposed to go. It's going to grow. So if you started something, it's going to start growing, okay? You're going to start getting help. Then we have falling in love, kissing the divine and lover or yourself. So yeah, somebody is really connected right now, connecting themselves to the divine. You're opening up your heart chakra. This is making something flow easy for you. It's, when you open up your heart, a lot of people don't realize this. When you open up your heart, you actually let things flow on its own, okay? Um, yeah, we have visions. Somebody could be tapping into their psyche. We have psychic, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. So somebody is like having dreams about this fate. Some of y'all is having visions about this fate. Your ancestors have shown you something. So that it's like they don't even want you to be worried about it, okay? It's something that you already you already know you're fated, okay? Your fate is you're, you're destined to be great. Like, some of y'all, I'm not gonna lie, you just have a great destiny. Like, you don't have nothing to worry about. So if you're worried about it, don't worry about it. Some, somebody could be seeking divination. Somebody could be seeking divination when it comes to this love. Somebody's trying to figure out if you're falling in love with someone or if someone's falling in love with you. Somebody's trying to figure out your destiny. Somebody's going to a psychic. What? Okay, I'm hearing, okay, I'm hearing different stories. So different scenarios is going on here when it comes to your face. Okay, that's strange. Somebody's really tapping into your, your faith. Like, they really want to know your faith. We have honesty here. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I feel like somebody has... Somebody has... If there was some type of there is some type of reader or some type of psychic here or someone who calls itself a psychic that was not being honest, okay? So somebody is setting boundaries with this person. 
somebody is understanding, like somebody is never gonna get the truth from someone because somebody is really jealous of um, your fate. So somebody, this could be somebody who is in divination and maybe they do know your fate, but they're lying. Somebody is lying. Yeah, forge don't follow. I can't make this up. Somebody is lying about your fate to someone because you're not following anyone. You're paving a new path. You're being the leader. You know, you're learning how to be human and but in the world, but not of the world. So somebody is really mad because you're jumping in. And yeah, the cosmic heart. Yeah, you have a heart. You have a heart for something, okay? You have heart. It's a saying in a song. Um, I think it's, is it with me? I got more heart than a lot of you. No, it's uh, it's not Webby y'all. It's uh, Beyonce and Jay Z. My baby mama harder than a lot of you niggas. Keep it, hit the lottery niggas. So somebody feels like they done hit the lottery nigga with you, okay? And something is a point in your energy. And somebody knows this. So somebody's trying to put the weight of the world on you. Somebody is not trying to accept something and let it go. Somebody don't want to accept your fate. They don't want to accept this. It's like somebody is trying so hard to forge something, to force something. Somebody could even say you're, you're copying off them. It's something about you're not following no one, though. If you're a leader here, what's going on with this energy? What's going on? If you're being honest with yourself, somebody don't like that. Yeah. There is no other way around but through the very truth that lives within you. So somebody know you the truth. <laughs> Somebody's playing with you like that you don't know you the truth. You know you the truth. The like the whoever you are, you know you the truth. You know that you are fated to be fortunate in this lifetime. Okay, somebody is jealous. I'm picking up on a jealous energy with this divination. It's like somebody's jealous of your fate. You could be into divination in some form, some fashion. And somebody's jealous. Yeah, we are Roman. There is no need to further one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. Honey, somebody don't want you to feel protected. But your intentions is even pure. Somebody's realizing that you got a hustler. A hustler. There is a hustler in your energy. Are you a hustler? Are you just minding your business hustling? Whatever you do, you, you do you. And somebody is, they want you to be in fear. It's like you trying to be quiet about something. You trying to manifest something. And it's like you got people all on your tree trying to figure out. Like It's like they're trying to rob you of your essence. But you're protected. So what you supposed to fear? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's like, what are you supposed to fear? Yeah, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. That's, that's another song I was channeling today, y'all. Um, Rihanna, Rude Boy. Come on, rude boy, boy, is you big enough? <laughs> yeah, somebody is rude as fuck. But we have bitch fire, stand up for yourself. It's like you standing up for yourself, and these people hate the fact that you are growing. You standing up for yourself, 16, 16, mirror numbers again. <sighs> what else? Somebody is mad that whatever you growing, it's like it's just growing in silence. It's, it's just growing. You a lighthouse. It's like you done created a whole little lighthouse. You done created a whole little workshop in private. Okay? You're working on yourself. Don't doubt your worth. <laughs> you working on yourself worth. Like I said, somebody know they hit the jackpot, hit the lottery, nigga. <laughs> Keep it A1, so you keep some A1. Somebody know you keep it A1. Somebody could have been lying about you to someone, somebody that was seeking div divination, and it made somebody fall in love with you even more. <laughs> Somebody's like, yeah. Well, I know I can only be honest with myself. I can't expect it from uh, other people. Yeah, I can't make this up, y'all. We have nine. Somebody's birthday could be in September, but not everything is it may seem. Be cautious, dear one, for there is a story beneath the tale. Honey, somebody been telling so many tales on you. 
This is why somebody is setting boundaries. Yeah, somebody could even be saying, somebody could even be saying, oh, you a witch, justice is coming. You a witch when somebody that did something, then they playing victim. Somebody's playing victim. Because you are one with the creator and you surrender something. So you let something go. Somebody is, I go on and on. <laughs> they want to go on and on with this divination. It's like, let it go. Somebody says, they don't want to let this go. And somebody knows somebody's been telling tales just to keep something going. <laughs> Give me one more card. Yeah, fire festival, 9-11. So it's giving me karmic, karmic energy. Through flame and through song, there will rise a new dawn. Yeah, somebody didn't understand that something, you you rise above whatever this is that somebody was doing. I sent it to you. I'm trying to say about you. It's like somebody is word. We have flower crown and boundaries. 312 could be significant. Wear your, 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 wear your power proudly and unapologetically, for it is your birthright and it is eternal like the soul. Somebody did not want you to know your worth, to wear your crown. Somebody going to distort someone's view of you, but we have boundaries. We have boundaries out here twice. Somebody's just mad because you set boundaries. You learn to stand up for yourself. Boundaries are sewing in the parts of who you are, for they are not to be crossed. Somebody's mad because they can't cross your boundaries. <laughs> I'm hearing keep stepping how you stepping, fam. <laughs> Keep stepping. How you stepping, fam? Okay, confirmation. I don't know what that was. But yeah, wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Yeah, somebody, like I said, I don't know what type of illusion these people, honey. I don't know who they following, okay? But yeah, you never needed those wings to fly. Somebody thought it was just an imagination. No, baby, you really disguised the limit for you. <laughs> yeah, be honest with yourself. Be forgive. So somebody is not being honest with themselves right now when it comes to y'all. So let's around here if you did something. Yeah, the truth. The truth has been exposed. Or the truth will be exposed. Somebody wants to speak some type of truth. Or you are speaking your truth and it's just intimidating in some way. Because your truth sets you free. Yeah, clarity, truth, face of swords. King of Swords, this could even be Archangel Michael. Your truth is set you free and you are protected. I also was picking up on that energy. Like you have some type of protector, some, some type of protector in your energy. This could be an ancestor, okay, a spirit guide. But this protector is protecting you from any type of attack. And I'm hearing, <laughs> y'all, it's crazy. Thank you for the confirmation answers. I'm hearing then you know if you real deal, if you got a protector. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. So if somebody's been trying to do something to you, you ain't even really gotta do too much. <laughs> Cause you could be the type, you could be really connected with your ancestors. Okay, and if you're really connected, then, you, then you're, you're gonna be protected. <laughs> Y'all, clearly this is what this course is. Roman 34. You can be 34. There is no need to further one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. Okay? You're protected. They're protecting you with this lighthouse energy. Protecting you. Protecting your rights. This is why this is what your boundaries. You see this? This is like a, a bright light of protection. Protecting your boundaries. Protecting your energy. Yeah, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. So somebody's being reckless right now, spending their money on this, on this divination. Yeah, this queen of cups in reverse. So there is a distorted feminine out here that is like being reckless with their money. They are really paying the devil at the bottom of the deck. This woman is paying practitioners, paying psychics to really find out something about you and they're not even getting the truth. Somebody's not getting the truth. Yeah. The, the devil with the towel. Okay, 15, 16 could be significant. Somebody has to face the fact that your fate ain't their fate. 
It's like somebody wants your fate to be their fate, and it's not your fate. You're protected. This person, they don't look so protected over here. They don't, they don't look as good. What's the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles? It's all has to do with your light. You're in the light. You're in some type of light. This person is like feeling trapped in the dark right now. Yeah, this person is looking at you like you are an empress. You, you're very beautiful, okay? Your nature is very harmonious. Like, somebody's looking at you like, yeah, you a magician. You moving on to happiness, to, to your... Y'all... Whoever this Queen of Cups is, this could be a wider energy, okay? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But this woman ain't, ain't doing too good. Like, she is really invested in your life. Like, this woman could literally invest in you as much money she has invested in checking on you. I'm telling you, three of swords. And this could all be over a masculine. A king of pentacles energy. I'm hearing, ask them where their money's going to. So somebody, I don't know, I could be talking to it about masculine. If there is a woman that's been asking you for money, this woman is, is, is looking into someone's life. This woman's looking into someone else's fortune. This is what you don't see. This is what's hidden from you. Now, spread is like literally be honest with yourself. Be, be real with yourself. This person clearly is a follower. It's trying to follow. Yeah, eight of pentacles. This person is doing work behind the scenes or in the dark. I can't make this up to her front in reverse. This person has some type of toxic belief system. And they are trying to reverse this energy onto whoever you are. Okay, divine film, divine masculine. Take what, what it resonates. I can't make this up. They're trying to reverse this energy onto you and bring this conflict towards you. And then they're watching. This person could even be paying someone to do this, to put an end to you. Somebody could be, honest. It's, take what resonates. Somebody could be paying for a, a death spell. Y'all, and I'm going to talk about it because, like, that shit's real, <laughs> okay? A death spell, a shut you up spell. Somebody's paying for this because somebody knows your fortune. They know your destiny. This is something you don't have to worry about. What's wrong? <laughs> you doing there? Ah, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. <sighs> so, you set boundaries here. This woman is really jealous. I just keep her in it. Yeah, I'm telling you, this woman has some toxic, old, outdated, or dark beliefs. And this person is folding on their own beliefs. They're giving up. <laughs> they admit that you defeat them, whoever you are. They admit this. Why is the her in reverse? I can't make this up, y'all. <laughs> Come through spurs. Seven of Wands in reverse. They are admitting that, you know, this person, they can't stand their ground against you because you are wearing your crown unapologetically. You're not apologizing to nobody about wearing your crown, about knowing your worth, about feeling it in your soul who you are. This person is feeling it in their soul now who, who you are. If they didn't believe, whatever practitioner, whoever they done went to, if they didn't believe them before, they believe now. Because somebody is like, yeah, this person has strong ass boundaries. This person is really protected. You can be protected because you do something when it comes to water. You can cleanse your energy really good doing spiritual cleanses, sir. I know I do. I love being spiritual bad, baby. <laughs> Might be mugs on some of you mugs, but it ain't no mugs on me, girl. <laughs> like, gas to keep that energy clean, y'all. I'm telling you. Gas to keep that energy clean, okay? Send it right back. Especially if you're into divination. If you do something when it comes to divination, okay? Because you have a lot of different energies surrounding you. But this person is like really folding on their beliefs. Clarify the seven of wands reverse. Yeah, I can't make this up. Eight of pentacles in reverse. I mean, all the cords are in reversal, but the eight of swords in the eight of pentacles. So it's giving me whatever work they've been doing and been patiently waiting on. You've been isolated in the light for a reason. 
with this eight eight, if another eight comes out, it's giving me an omen of abundance. Something's gonna flow for you. Overflow. Your cup's gonna overflow. All because you're just focused on your mission. This person is making a break for this. With this five of cups and this seven of swords, this person is crying. Somebody know they done fucked up. They know they done fucked up their own destiny, they own fate fucking with yours. With this ace of pentacles in reverse. Because they wanted this for you. They wanted you to fuck. They wanted you to be uncomfortable. They wanted you to lack and miss out on opportunities. Sir. I can't make this up. Six of Pentacles. Somebody sees that you're getting gifts or you're gifted. Okay? This could all be important. Somebody was really paying practitioners. Y'all, I'm telling you, somebody was paying people to keep you from working, to keep you from moving forward. They was working. This person was working with other people, too. But you guys could be studying and growing and working hard and content. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. You could be focused on your kids, balancing out your home situation, your home dynamic, the things that you got going on, running a business. Whatever you are doing, this person feels defeated. Why is the Three of Pentacles there? You're learning and you're studying, you're growing, you're getting gifts. Somebody is mad. Yeah, Eight of Wands, this is what all is coming. This all this energy this person sent is coming right back to them. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. This person now has clarity on how strong you are when it comes to this leap of faith you took on yourself. Empress with the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles with the Magician. You manifested something. And this person don't know what you manifested because it's protected. Clarity. I can't make this up. The Magician with the Queen with the Ace of Swords. I was about to say Queen of Swords because you are in some type of Queen of Swords energy. When you are speaking your truth, honey, you are standing your ground and you have the power and ability to do so why is the eight of wands here yeah five of cups this person is in deep regret over what they invested in or what they manifested they manifested confusion and illusion for themselves somebody is really confused they thought you was gonna fold by now yeah, pain. They thought you. They thought they had you in pain. Even they, they even could have had you in some type of third party situation and thought that this is gonna leave you heartbroken, feeling not feeling out of love, feeling like you don't. Yeah, they wanted to shatter your dreams. Not a cups in reverse. But this is truly what they did to their own fate. They manifested their own fate, y'all. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> this is what they manifested for themselves. This person is feeling lack and fulfillment in life. Yeah, the food. It was very a very foolish decision this person made to keep this keep you in this stuck energy. Because you're moving on. Clarify the food with the nine of cups. I can't make this up, y'all. Ace of Swords, clarity. You have clarity about who this is and what's going on. And you have enough strength, okay? To get through whatever battles were sent to destroy you, distract you, and make you doubt. This is why you get injustice. Somebody is also watching you be confident. It's it's making somebody feel so burdened. It's like the worst. That is their biggest fear. Somebody's biggest fear is to see you in this White House and to see you not doubting yourself, to see you falling in love to see you set boundaries, to see you be a leader. It's like somebody's worst nightmare to see you get justice. Okay, 811 could be significant. To see you speak your truth and not be scared. Yeah, you know, to see you in this temperance energy, balance, having foresight in life, knowing which direction you wanna take, knowing where you wanna go, knowing that you wanna heal, knowing you wanna be at peace with yourself. Knowing that you are going to get success, you are going to be successful. Like somebody hates that about you. Like how do you know? Six of Cups. This is definitely could be somebody from your past with deep wounded traumas here. Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody's definitely giving up on this competition. They want to compromise with you because they're struggling. Cause they're having dreams about you. Somebody had this dream about you, y'all, and I. Just, they just gotta be honest with yourself, with themselves. Okay, I said with yourself. Okay, they have to be honest. If they didn't believe that you were a psychic, they believe now. Somebody had a dream. Somebody had a dream, and they like her. 
hands up. I've been caught. I can't make this up. <laughs> the hang one. They like her hands up. I've been caught. They feel trapped. Yeah, that's the truth. Because you actually healed from something, her. Some toxic energy, toxic people, some low vibrations. You actually healed. Yeah. Somebody sees that you're making a break for it from a trickster energy. King of Cups. Yeah, because somebody could have sent someone your way to trick you. What did I say? You and this Queen of Swords energy with this Six of Wands, getting success, getting recognized. <laughs> And you're not even focused on this person that they sent to try to emotionally manipulate you. I can't make this up. Now the swords. This person is crying. They have anxiety, honey. They fear. They are so unhappy with this transition. Somebody's like, I cannot believe it. King of Pentacles. And this man has foresight. Whoever they doing this about, they have foresight. Somebody knows which way they want to go. I can't make this up. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is being patient. They see you as loyal, responsible, defensive, standing your ground, honey. Ambitious. And then this woman feels burdened, feels overloaded. This could even be a friend. Somebody just feels like they took you for granted. They should have been honest with themselves. Yeah, the sun. Because you make, you're happy. Somebody was really burdened by your happiness. And they're watching you. They're so curious about your life. It's like somebody needs to stop being so curious about their life. Somebody needs to get excited about their own fortune and their own destiny. This person really needs to get excited about their life. It's like, yeah, resilience. It's like they want you to go through an ongoing battle because they're not happy yet. Because you're transitioning. Somebody's like, I'm not happy yet. Just wait. No, you're gone. I can't make this up. The Empress, you're gone. You know your worth. You know which direction you want to take. Somebody's not happy. I, I, I'm telling you, somebody needs to get enthusiastic about their life, okay? Enthusiastic about their life. Excuse me. Page of Wands. You have a lot of good news coming in. And somebody else, they just feel like they are just juggling a lot. They in pain. They're suffering. Yeah, because you made a choice. Somebody made a decision her. Somebody's realizing the grass is always greener. Somebody's like, yeah, the grass was definitely greener over there. So somebody could want to come in with a union with you, a reunion. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Didn't I say your cup's going to overflow? Everything that they sent to you, it's going right back. Your cup's going to overflow. Somebody's going to have to take this in and somebody's being taken out. If they wanted you to t be taken out, they being taken out. And when I say this, I say this in the most humblest way. It, it could be spiritual. Somebody wanted to kill your spirit. They wanted to put your energy to rest. They wanted to put you to rest. They wanted to stop your destiny. They wanted you to be confused about your destiny. <laughs> I can't make this up. Now this person feels like they're going to be in poverty. They're going to be left out. They're going to be struggling. Why you over here in the Ace of Cups getting all this new energy, overflowing blessings? Yeah, we have Emperor and the Queen of Wands. You could just be really stable here, but there is somebody that's like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to protect them. I'm going to be there for them. This person is vibrating too high. I feel like y'all protecting your energy, and you have people backing you up. Somebody is like, yeah, these hoes don't, can't fuck with you, these hoes can't fuck with you. Like, they cannot fuck with you. And I feel like this is what people are trying to do. They are trying to fuck with your energy. I can't make this up, y'all. Come through, spirit. We got the emperor with the queen of wands and the king of wands. Energetic match. Somebody is telling somebody, like, these hoes can't fuck with you. Period. They can't fuck with your energy. You vibrate to that. And this emperor knows because he's on that same level. What did I say about this song, Beyonce? <laughs> the Beyonce song, y'all. Wish I was your baby mama want me to come around and give you good karma, but nah. <laughs> what? Up in this bitch like escalators? <laughs> like, somebody is realizing that about you. If somebody didn't believe you before, they're like, yeah. Yeah, they are reconsidering their alliances now, okay? They trying to make new connections because they done had the aha moment. Somebody's like, it's like a light bulb done lit in this person's head. Like, 
Yeah, sweet memories. I'm gonna let that shit go. <laughs> Somebody's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to let this shit go because something's been transitioned to the spirit world. And this shit ain't right. Something ain't right. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody could not even smell right. Like somebody is not taking care of themselves. They still worried about you. They need to be worried about the bodily fluids that ain't smelling good. <laughs> That's what I deserve. They ain't smelling too good. They ain't looking too good. Give me more for the energy. Yeah. Glamour, drama. I'm telling you, they're trying to start drama. See you, drama, glamour. They could even be doing some glamour magic, honey. That's going right back. After sadness, happiness, and hope returns. <laughs> Somebody's like, yeah. Somebody's taking time to heal from some type of heartbreak. Or this could be you. Yeah, somebody is choosing you because somebody misses you. Somebody's like, yeah, they miss you too much. Y'all vibrating on the same level, y'all. Something you thought finished birth back into your life. I can't make this up. So if this person went away, they coming back. Because, yeah, somebody, a safe, they need a safe place to go. Somebody's looking at you like, damn, man. <laughs> you inspire trust and confidence. Yeah, because somebody's looking at you like very inspiring. I'm telling you, somebody is like, get excited about your own life. Somebody's annoyed from this person. Because you went through a death when it was a rebirth. Like somebody tried to kill you in the spirit and you died and you was reborn. You ain't even the same motherfucking person. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting excited. Like I'm getting excited. Because it's like, it's a twist to this. It's like a twist in this story. It's a twist. This is why spirit don't want you worried about your future because it's a plot twist. It's like... Whatever some idea, it's, it's gonna help you. It was a catalyst to your growth. And y'all don't even understand this. This is what's so crazy. I can't make this up, y'all. A new world is born. You must choose. Uh, this person has to make a choice. Or you have to make a choice to transition something to the spirit world. Because <laughs> somebody is not watching over this person. They are not protected. Somebody is not protected at all. Yeah, sweet memories. I'm telling you, somebody's letting something go. Endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgic. Somebody wants someone to be nostalgic, playing the past over and over and over and over again. It's 611 out here, okay? Then we have 29. You miss someone. You miss someone. This person is missing you. I just heard that song. I'm missing you. I'll find a way to get through. <laughs> I can't say y'all, but yeah. You could be missing a loved one as well. Give me one more. Or oh, that's a loved one that's saying that they miss you. Oh, shit, y'all. Woo! Come through, baby. I don't know who you are, but baby, protected you are and protected you will always be. We have, we out here trick or treating. We're her. Your Akashic Library are open. Whoever you are, whoever this person is that wants to replay the past over and over and have you nostalgic and thinking negative, honey, because you miss somebody, if they hear, whoever you thinking about that you miss, they hear. Okay? And they trick or treat it. Your Akashic library is open to you, and this is what somebody don't see. So they can get all the readings done, all, everything they want to do. But you see that crystal ball? You don't have to worry no more. <laughs> I'm hearing that damn uh, song. All my life been took, but it really don't matter no more. <laughs> they wonder why we act this way. <laughs> Nappy roots gonna be okay. <laughs> what? I don't know where this song came from. I heard this song in years, okay? And some of y'all can feel like it. Like, all your life you've been poor, all you've been. It's something about your life. You just always had to go through the slums. I go through the mud. Get it through the mud. Get it out the mud. <sighs> Dig it out the dirt. You hear me? <laughs> but something is about to start flowing for you once you open up your heart. It's, it, it has something to do with your heart chakra. Because if your heart chakra is open, that's probably how you, you have the ability to open up your Akashic Labyrinths. Yeah, ancient wisdom. I can't make this up. Because you have ancient wisdom. 
your ancestors are giving you some type of wisdom to get you through whatever this is that you're going through. So no worries. The divine has you. Because you queen rising, you stepping into your, your power. You stepping into the spotlight here. And somebody gets mad. Uh, this person is toxic. They wanted something to be toxic for you. They want to start drama and chaos. Like I said, they want to project this energy on you because you like you need space. Because you need time alone. This person is going to sit back and just be plugged in. Somebody could be watching you, holding a grudge, not saying nothing, looking at some unexpected results. It's like somebody is too enthusiastic about something that you have and somebody's facing a lot of addictions. I'm telling you, they are happiness hater. They got a lot of bad habits. They need to take time to reflect. Sit down, okay? It's like, I'm here to be humble. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> we have fake accounts. Yeah, they need to be humble to sit down. Because this is what they, they this is what they worried about. They worried about you getting married. I'm tired of this energy, okay? Somebody's worried about you getting married. And, and it's like, <laughs> this type of person, they would never get that type of love because of the energy that they project on other people. Like, Lord, you can't even be happy for people around you that's a blessing that you can look at is as inspiring. I've never, you can, man, you can pay me to look at somebody else's life. Like, man, I want my life to be just like that. I, even if it, just be thankful. Somebody just can't be thankful to even be in your presence. This is why they can't get in your energy. It's like, yeah, you think, so, you think God gonna bless you with a man or a woman like that and the way you act and the way he put people around you that are blessings? Because people gonna fail to realize that people are blessings. You miss out on your blessing, then you gotta learn your lesson when it comes to people. Quit underestimating people. And yeah, trying to impersonate. This impersonator underestimated you and your power and your authority in the spiritual realm. This person that acts like you, dress like you, looked on you, toxic. Yeah, what did I say? Jackpot. This, whoever this person is, they are realizing they hit the jackpot with you. <laughs> Keep it A1. Hit the lottery. You the truth. Whoever you are, you the truth. And this is why this person is closed off with this person because this person feels trapped. They need help. Yeah, they running. If somebody is running from this person that's trying to do with this dirty offer because somebody wants to be in union with you. So it's like S O S E. Someone healthy. It's not healthy. Somebody's losing their mind. Yeah, triggering. He's triggering the fuck out this person. Holy. And 
and it's not healthy. You could be getting all type of signs. I just divine, divine masculine getting all type of signs. This masculine is like, yeah, I just need to pop up. I just need to go over there. I need to say something because something is just not right. I can't make this up, y'all. Virgin today. Somebody's like, this ain't right. I knew something wasn't right. Somebody felt this shit. They smelt that shit. <laughs> Quit playing, bro. <laughs> Somebody smelled that shit, okay? They felt it and they smelled it, okay? <laughs> Ooh, we. I love my guys' sense of humor, honey. Ooh, we, we have family. Then we have threat. This person is threatened by their appearances. This is why somebody was gossiping about you because they was copying everything you did and they had some feelings that they never got to express. This could be family. Okay, somebody really got some feelings they never got to express. They want to express themselves to you, but instead they gossip about you because they was great. It was like, okay, if I can't be you, you can't be you. <laughs> we have Carlos. And somebody is, we got ain't shit in reverse. So somebody is keeping tabs on you. Like I said, they keeping tabs on you. And somebody's realizing, yeah, even if you don't got no car, it ain't, it's not because you ain't shit. It's because shit happened. So somebody could really been doing something thinking that they was the reason of it all. No, because shit happens. It don't mean that you not a divine female, divine masculine. Like, it don't mean that somebody's attacking you and the attacks is working. I don't know why people be thinking that when life give you lemons, you can't make lemonade. Like, that don't mean that a motherfucker can't get back. Do y'all not, not, not understand that the strongest motherfuckers are the ones that lose it all, they get all back. You ain't a boss if you can't take a motherfucking loss. Like, period. You're not. Yeah, when I say lost and blocked, this person is, is getting blocked and cut off because they keep keeping tabs on you, trying to be like you. Insecure, they got anxiety, and then they panicking because they always party and then they want to escape because they could have caught a case. Okay, yeah, just out here overextending their energy with everybody, and then they in their emotions, and you cleanse your energy from any negative energy. They wasting their time all in their head trying to get the inside. They feel devastated. This could be a karmic friend. They feel like they made a mistake here. Being a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay, in denial because they got a bad reputation. So worried about your commitment and they ain't worried about their own rep. Like I said, somebody needs to get enthusiastic about their life. They lost it. We gotta find out the truth. I feel like you got to find out some type of truth, collective. You got to find out some type of truth. Connect with your spirit guides and trust the process. Pay the spiritual hitman. I'm telling you, somebody definitely paid the spiritual hitman over a twin flame. And this twin flame could respect you. But somebody's trying to see you some type of demonic spirit. This could be somebody that's bisexual. Like, this woman could be bisexual. Like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but somebody definitely is paying somebody to do something to you. And you're protected. Y'all protection. As soon as I say a shit, I don't make this shit up. This is why you have a new love. Yeah, somebody definitely is bisexual. They like men and women, and they have drug addictions. And you were protected from this. So somebody, yeah. They, and they gotta pay you your money. So somebody took some type of finances from you, they gotta pay you, because your abilities are unique. And somebody was really copying off of you. I'm telling you, they was copying off of your essence. They was trying to steal your energy, take you out to walk in your energy like it was theirs. But you went through an awakening, and you can do it. Okay, we have White Witch, and you know what's going on behind the scenes. So heart shock activation. Did not say it has to do with your heart. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in some type of past trauma. This person has rooted past trauma issues. Or if this is you, heal from those issues, okay? Or you activated your heart chakra, and you heal from those issues. This is why this magic is backfiring. And judgment is being called on your enemies. So, like I said, somebody, they should have... They should have found out the truth. Or this person has realized they should have found out the truth before they teamed up with somebody or before they worked with somebody. A lot of people are in regret. Yeah, he or she is cheating and they don't care. They like having the options. They ain't going to stop. We have money mantras. Okay? And then everybody is being set up. Stay out of it. So, yeah, if this person was doing money, ma magic, money mantras help. 
okay? Firm belief on that. But everybody is being set up. Stay out of it. So yeah, all of these people are being set up. The police could be watching these people because like I said, if they try to take you out any type of way, honey, the police know. Somebody's gonna have to give you your mutual respect because you've heard get justice heard. So don't give up because this person is taking major risk for it. Because all you did was rude. These people was jealous of your growth, of your faith. And it was caught red handed. Like somebody caught this motherfucker. I'm telling you, somebody caught this motherfucker. Mm -mm. Anything else why I close this out? Yeah. You might need to travel. Okay, so you might need to travel. No, no, my baby's getting high for it. Okay. But then we have you might need to travel and stock alert. And then we have rapper artists and stay connected to source. So you could be staying connected to source. But uh yeah, you gotta stock for her. Somebody's stalking you. Constantly watching you, all in your energy. Cause maybe you got strong boundaries here. You stay connected to source. And this person got sex addictions. Like mm -hmm. they could be wanting to abuse you because you could be a messenger. It's like, yeah. Somebody lost their it's like, okay, if you bisexual, okay. But somebody is like, what? What's going on here? What's, what, what's going on in this energy? You can learn from anybody. Yeah, it's like, okay. Somebody can learn from you, though. They can heal. Somebody's going through something. Yeah, because somebody knows you're suspicious. Or this, this person could come out really suspicious. You could be suspicious about this person. Yeah, he or she wants you out the way. So they want you out the way because you are growing spiritually. Karmic women, gay for value. This may be a woman. Two choices of love. Player, player. Somebody wants you to stop showing up because they hate you. They hate your growth. Ah, oh, baby, they gonna have to get used to your growth. Listen to your intuition, cause somebody's wishing you fine. They gonna have to get used to it. Cause like I said, somebody's like, man, these hoes can't fuck with you. These hoes can't fuck with you. I'm telling you, they can't fuck with you. Shield yourselves. Admit the truth and act accordingly. As soon as I cut these decks, man, spirit don't be playing. Shield and protect yourself. Because mm -mm. you innocent. You are innocent. You ain't did nothing to nobody. You ain't did nothing to nobody, baby. And this situation is already resolved. I'm telling you, you too protected. Give me one, Archangel Michael. Just have confidence. Because guys in George, that's what these people don't see. You see that sword? They are wondering what's guiding your life, what's guiding you. You see that sword? God's sword. Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your protection, honey. Confirmation 222. Two, two. Somebody is wondering, honey, they, they gonna find out, baby. I was about to say something about that shit. That your home is protected by angels, baby. So somebody gonna have to pay attention that you protected. So they can keep fucking with your energy. Because they won't kill hearing that they penetrating the veil. Does somebody think they fucking you over? No, baby, you you fucking, you, you think you fucking somebody over? Now they gonna find out. You penetrating the veil. God I got a veil over you. The same veil that you live to the unknown is the same veil God placed over your head for protection. The fuck? Trust. I trust life in my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Everything was placed for your growth. It was for you to grow. The calm. It's people I'm mad because you trust and you are calm. I breathe, live, and grow light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts, all fears, and I find peace in my being. You at peace with yourself. We have unconditional love. My heart is free from resentment towards others. You are not resentment towards people, so they can't keep you bound and trapped and stuff. You don't hold no bad bone. There is no bad bone in your body collective. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurting people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. This is all that you wanted for someone. It's to see the same. It's like you. 
I know they say it's not easy. It, it, and it is to, to try to see yourself for everyone because, you know, everybody, you can't. It, in this new day and age, you can't. You can't because you have people that they don't want to see the light within themselves, okay? They like being in that energy. They like being in that dark energy. And it's good. But never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation and to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious and you are worthy. Do you hear me? Come through, Spirit. <sighs> Trust and wait. You are being prepared for your blessings in order to receive. You have to be ready to receive things you are going through now are not random. Trust the flow of the universe. Somebody wanted you to feel like the stuff you was going through was because you was cursed, baby. You are too blessed to be stressed, and you better walk it and you better talk it, okay? To Except where you are at at this moment. You was going through things because it was meant for you to go through these things. Hard is bad and strong as soldiers. Sometimes I guess for y'all collective. That was a good read today, baby. It was meant for you to go through those things. And you made it through. Just hold on. Change is coming. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Everything will be all right. My friend was playing it today when I went through the job today. And I'm telling you, like, I could feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel them in the atmosphere. And it's because of the people that you surround yourself with. Y'all ever felt so blessed because of the people that God put in your life? It ain't because of the things. It's not because of none of that. It's because of the people he put in your life that make you feel blessed. That's when you know you're truly blessed. When you ain't got a jealous, negative evil person around you you know you blessed and let's just be honest we have honesty here twice somebody's about to get the somebody's about to get the they about to get their shit rocked okay ancestors protection and bad karma this person needs mental attention they about to get their shit rocked the devil <laughs> Woo, man they about to get they shit rock. <laughs> like, I can't, y'all. They about to get they shit rock. We have cancer and business mindset. This crazy love of her. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's party, drugs, and alcohol. But we have karmic lesson. This was a karmic lesson. Yeah, you guys could be having visions about your family as well. Messing with your crown chakra because you chose me. Yeah, if somebody's really in love. They using kids. We have Leo and high vibe. So somebody, yeah, they need to seek help. Somebody might even come to you with an apology because they know they about to be arrested, okay, or something. Yeah, and they trying to protect themselves. Somebody's trying to find somebody to protect them. Okay, they they trying to get away from this, this karma they about to get. <sighs> this karma that they about to get. The karma that they wanted you to have when you didn't even do nothing. It don't, it don't make sense. Somebody wanted to, to take you out to walk in your walk in your destiny for you to have their destiny. No, your, your destiny was already set. <laughs> and it's all about the energy you putting out. So if your energy is not going to towards your own my left earth, if somebody's talking bad, if your energy is not going towards your own energy, your own manifestation, then you're you're, you're, you're seeking divination. You're doing all of this stuff to somebody else that's not worried about you. Yeah, this person needs help for sure. We have number six. Your heart is your gift. Y'all, you are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. And you are self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. This person thought because you were nurturing and loving and caring and sweet, whatever, whatever. They thought you was going to self-sacrifice. But yeah, you self-sacrifice. But you're a protector. It's, it's like a matriarch energy. 
not no self-sacrifice so somebody can take you out of, make you dim your light another fact. It's a matriarch. It's to learn from someone. Clarify. Yeah, we have zero. What did I say, y'all? I'm telling you. <laughs> the sky is the limit. There is no beginning and no end. All is infinity. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. <sighs> Number seven. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge of both informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. You guys are brilliant. And then we have master number 33. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be high and I'm expanding. So yeah, get to that project or whatever that is, okay? Whatever that looks like for you, because like I said, something is your destiny, it's your fate. Somebody's been trying to mess with your fate, mess with your fort, mess with your destiny, but it's protected, okay, collective? That's all I got for y'all. Love and light, namaste, Asha. 1010.